Okay, um, I want to go back to the game file where we left off at before. We start game two. Uh, we're set to go for another one. I'm not going to play another one. But while I'm here, I want to go through um, the other uh, programs that are, or excuse me, the other spreadsheets that are contained in the game file. Um, so to do that, they are all on the bottom. You know, you can go through all of them. Logos, rosters, draft, new game, fielding rating, fielding rating, advanced dice. Okay. Um, everything is necessary. I wouldn't delete any of these records because uh, you may have a um, formula malfunction. So we've been using new game. And here, um, you know, is the little scroll bar thingy. You want to keep the scroll bar thingy here as you play a game. You know, obviously this whole display is set for my computer monitor, which is 1280-1024. That's what you're looking at. But obviously, you know, you, you know, I mean, you can fit it any way you want. And you take the scroll bar away, okay, and then you scroll, move over to the right. Um, and you got, you start to see that this these are the areas where I have at-bats accumulator, hit accumulator, doubles. This is the, all the dirty work that I'm doing. And, I, you know, I don't like to mess with this stuff. And... And then carry them, you know, a cell reference incorrectly. So, uh, what else do I have on this spreadsheet? If you page down, I, I just for my own dumb memorization uh, here, I I couldn't remember. It's a quick way of memorizing the um, the results for um, what is this guy? This is hitting and running. Uh, so th this is like double dot dot for an A, single dot dot, scramble to first, single dot dot, scramble to second. Question mark means you got to steal on a seven. This is uh, basically information from a chart because I couldn't remember, you know, instead of looking it up manually. So this is hitting and running for a, a what, do you, what is it? The B, uh, the B to the A. Uh, excuse me, a B hit and runner with a guy you're holding on base result. And then the next level is if uh, I, I guess it would be um, a C hit and runner. Uh, same thing except 12 is a line out max and 11 you got to try and steal and you know. Here's bunting for an A bunner, a B bunner, you know, a C bunner. Here's uh, the squeeze play. Again, I mean, if you don't, you know, you can look at the charts, but if you don't want the charts around, and over here, you know, I've, I I I, kept, I copied the information for stealing uh, for A double A's, A B C D. So it exists there just for reference, but you know, you don't have to, you don't need it, whatever. Um, and just a reminder, this, this uh, league was put together for doing s stats before 1985, before they had the ballpark homer and the ballpark hit, clutch hitting and all that. And I have in the past done this spreadsheet. It's, it's not that hard to incorporate the um, – you basically use – for instance, for, for your rosters, you, you, you put the ballpark homer and uh, single ranges – uh, in their record somewhere and then you just put another random one to 20 for ballpark homers in, a, in like in this area here you know and just save the file and boom your ballpark homer and uh, that information to save you just read it from this area okay I'm, I'm not going to do this what I'm saying is you, you just put your display there and you reference data over here for and uh, for ballpark homers and hits if you want to do that I don't feel like doing that right um, let me just go through some of the other areas uh, here. Logos. This is where I dump all the logos that get carried over that you see for my 32 teams. And then there's another 16. This is a fictional spring training league in other American cities that I do. Just you know, just to mix the cards up. It's totally fictional that I do. Um, but this is interesting here that. Um, this also carries, for instance, the information that is here. Um, it says 737. It carries it through to a couple different looks. So you can see that number. You can see what happened with 20 sided dice. You can see that what dice roll percentage came up. And then you could see all of the, uh, the, the, uh, the, how it, let me go through a little bit further here. Fielding rating is a chart see all these falses fielding rating i basically i plug in all the pitcher fielding ratings all the catcher first base second third base shortstop all the ratings in for percentages on one out of 36 etc these are these were already plugged in this is the first thing that was done 10 years ago it was all the e ratings percentages were placed in here and then 
you know, it goes through a series of if then questions asking if it's in this range, if it's in that range, culminating with result. So that, you know, same thing here. If you ever, let's say, um, let me just, just, let's just try this for sec for instance. If you ever question the results of the table for fielding, let's try a position. Let's say you're second baseman, you're 2E6. That's a good E rating, right? All right, so let's hit F9 until an error pops up. See what I'm doing? It's a 2E6. He's not going to make an error very frequently, right? So what happens when he does make one? Look at this. I must have hit 30 or 40 results by now, right? But I'm waiting for an E6 to come up. Da, 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 da. Oh, shit, I missed it. Sorry. <laughs> All right, you made an error, but I wanted to go. I have to make an up, oh, did it again. Boy, I got to be more careful, don't I? Do it slow. Come on, error. Come on, error. Come on. Okay, so he makes an error. Now what's the point of this little exercise? Well, you're saying, well, wait a minute. He's an E6 second baseman and kicked the ball? Come on, man, what happened? Well, this is what happened. On a 20-sided dice, he rolled an eight, which is the uh, E rating, the X ra the range for checking the error rating. And he came up with basically a 9.46%, which is less than 10%. And that basically equates to the dice roll that fell into the very small error rating, which is probably Dice rolls are between three and five, I'm gonna guess, right? Because, um, let's see, one out of 12 would be one out of 36, then you have um, two, three, you've got three out of 36, or one twelve is 8%. So then you have the next, it, it falls into the next air, area where it's a four, rolling a roll of a two, three, or a four in this case. Anyway, 9.46, see this number there? That's what just happened, a very slow number, a very uh, small error shot, and that, that's where your error came from. That's to ver verify for purposes of exactly what dice were actually rolled, um, in case you're curious about that sort of thing. Um, what else do we have here? Um, yeah, so don't tamper with the fielding charts, or if you do that, the integrity of the E rating is unfixable. Um, but more importantly, where you have to go is rosters. Here is rosters. Um, this is where you input the rosters of your teams. For instance, we just played a game where this was the members of the Boston Red Sox. Now, if you go in a different era, what you have to do is in this area, one through 12 for each team, okay, that I, I highlight here, you can delete it. If you delete it here, boom, it's gone, okay? So this is where you would type in manually every hitter and every pitcher. Or if you have a program, you just copy and paste it into this area. Um, but basically, you don't want to tamper with columns A through E because this is the numeric, alpha, and pitching. You start your starting pitchers. Uh, if you look a little closely, uh, it says like Storm Davis, one star, means he goes on rotation. Scott McGregor, two star. Then Ken Dixon is three. He doesn't go in rotation. Mike Flanning in four, okay? Um, th this area here is something that I do when I do carryover leagues. Uh, after a league is over, uh, a player's card might, might expire and not be moved into the next league. And what I do is uh, 10,000 means he, the player is being renewed. A yellow 100 means he is being waived and a red one is retired. And this is sort of a way I use to keep track of the league as I play recurring seasons, so you don't need this data. But what you do need to, you do need to play your games is, going back to what we had before with California and Boston, uh, your California Annuals and your Boston Red Sox, what you wanna do is you wanna go to rosters Scroll down to your teams and just start typing away in these fields, your name, your players. You can then sort in alphabetical order, but just keep in mind, keep the integrity of one to 12 should be alphabetical by last name of your players. And pitchers starting with number 16 to 23, um, because I've had leagues that have had more up to 15 players and et cetera. But anyway, this is for 12 hitters and eight pitchers. Um, the stat program, 
if we go over to the right is just it's actually set for rows going down into 13 14 15 it is set for 15 hitters okay so you can actually have a 15 hitter roster and then I just don't have enough records I mean obviously I'm limited to the amount of uh, space uh, you know roster slots uh, I can't quite get to a 25 man roster but you can add three more hitters to get to 15 hitters and I suppose you could write here um, for pitching stats um, but uh, it's really designed for 12 hitters and eight pitchers which is the basic game of Stratomatic before the extra players is used one final remark and then I'll stop and uh, is that um, this is a cute little macro I want to show you uh, if you're playing up, up a series where the teams are uh, home, home and away, let's say the series, let's say it's a playoff series, and now Boston goes to Cal, uh, excuse me, the Angels go to Fenway Park. If you hit Control P, Control P will move the away to the home and the home to away, and then you just move the logos accordingly. You have to move the logos by hand. See that? So now California is the way team and Boston's the home team. Um, you can delete these. They're stored in logos. You want to delete them? You don't like looking at them? Delete them. Um, you got to keep 7844. Keep these numbers here because that's verifying your lineup, but you can erase this as well. All right? You can erase it. And of course, you do a macro and let's say, let's say you want to see uh, Toronto is uh, going to play the White Sox. Toronto plays the White Sox, you know, you just do that again. All right. There you go, Toronto at the White Sox. And then, like I said, you know, you do Control P. Now the White Sox, now the series shifts. Now we're in Toronto. Toronto and the White Sox. Okay, now let's say the White Sox get eliminated. Okay, they're done. Toronto is still playing. All right, now who's playing Toronto now? Let's say it's uh, Seattle. Seattle's playing them. So you go to Macros. Now Seattle's going to play here. You go at C. See how easy this is? Now you got Seattle and their logo playing the Toronto Blue Jays. See that? So it's pretty cool as far as just moving the pertinent data in the appropriate uh, pertinent spot. Uh, obviously, the first thing you, you would have to do with this program is again go to rosters and then set all your rosters simply by replacing the existing names I have for 12 hitters and 12 pitchers. All right, I'm going to pause this now, and I'm going to go to looking at the other programs in the stat accumulation.